Well, we had quite the night. This little guy ventured up to the house. He looks just like Wally when Wally was a pup. Here, buddy, give you a bacon treat. He's lucky he came here. See, guys, that's why these collars are good. He's got his owner's name on there, phone number I just called. It's actually the guy, it's actually the guy that cut these trees down. So they're gonna send somebody to come pick him up. But he don't know how to get home. He's just a little guy. He's a little old walker hound. A little old walker hound. He's a good boy. Yeah, you came to, you came to Dog Man Homestead, didn't you? Look like my Wally. All right. Guys, I mean, this looks like my Wally to the T. He's even got that little dot on top of his head. It's it's a, unreal. You know, if he he didn't have a he didn't have a home, I'd probably keep him. <coughs> In your mail, you look just like my Wally. What do you say to that? You've had bacon treats. You've had milk bones. You got this good-looking girl. Yeah, you're same breed. What do you think of that? Well, I'm gonna call you Wally Jr. Yeah. You came to the right place. You've been skunked too. You stink and you've got some scrapes on you. We'll get you home. Yeah, we couldn't send him home without a good meal in his belly. Look at that guy. He's hungry. He's been out running all night. Kept me up all night. He stinks. He got skunked. But he's hungry, look at him. Well, you came to the right place, buddy. I happen to have lots of treats. Lots of food. All right, I started on this thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a slow go, cause you gotta cut some, then you gotta haul them out of here so you can get to the rest of them. Good news is, I cut that end off. That's a good tree. There's a lot of lumber there. So it was only rotted a little bit there. That is probably why, well, that is why it got splintered like that. And uh, so there's still another good 60 feet of this tree. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a deal with them. I want this lumber and those other pines or cedars, whatever we gotta do. All right, man, I'm gonna get to work, guys. So you got the little buddy with me there trying to find somebody to pick him up. He's just being a good boy. Rooster keeps barking at him. Oh, I can't get over how much he looks like Wally. Well, him's a good boy. Him's a good boy. You got the map of Korea right there. So if you ever go to Korea, you just gotta look at your nose. There's a map right there. All right, I'm working my way down. I'm trying to identify the limbs that are holding this tree up. Be careful not to hit them like that one. And that one but I'm taking all these on the, that aren't hitting the ground out of the way boy it's a process because there's a lot of limbs and then I got to drag them all the way to the bottom of the hill almost throw them on the fire the good thing is when I got this thing all cleaned up and ready to go all the limbs will be gone and burnt and uh, I'm still gonna what I'll probably do is once I get it all cleaned up I'll start cutting the limbs that are supporting it from that end because it's the lighter end. And then as I work down, we'll get this thing lower. All right, it's been quite chaotic here. I'll put it on time lapse here in a little while. They still haven't come and got him. She's mad. She tore up her water bucket. Yeah, don't blame her. But he won't be hit by a car. All right, guys, I'll be back shortly. Oh, if I was a lumberjack, I'll tell you what I'd do. I don't know. Battery powered steel chainsaw. Ah! Huh? Look at like them babies. Look at the burnout.
here's how far we are just one side I got part of that side but oh lord I think when I get down to the end and we'll cut part of it off and make some a post out of it there's a good 20 feet of timber there all right come back later this little guy he is just tuckered out poor guy I take care of him until his people come he's been running all night didn't know where he was we'll get you home buddy you just sleep Alright guys, it's very windy. Uh, get this whole side clear. I cut that part off. Uh, I'm going to make a pole out of that. Now we're getting ready to drop this, but i got to go over here first and clean up the other side. It's a lot easier to do it while it's standing up like this than it would be laying down on the ground. So, that's the main support. And there's a couple down here. That's all it's holding this thing. Solid though. So I'm gonna get in here and get all these limbs cut out, and then uh, I'm gonna let them decide how long they want them. There's probably good two good eight foot pieces at least here. Makes a good All right, let me get some of these limbs dragged off, drug off, and I got them piled up here. Little Wally, he got skunk last night. He stinks. Libby's upset because she can't come out but you know what she wasn't gonna be out anyway until I got this tree cut so it don't matter he's being real good he's tired so he's, he's helping you know well, he, you know as much as dogs help all right well that side's just about done except for the end I'm not worrying about that right now but look at this side Look at this goofball. Finally let her out. I moved the other the puppy down there. Look at her. She got her chew bone. Get silly with it. Get silly with it. Get silly with it. She will. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. We're gonna get this cut now. You know, what makes it harder, and I ain't complaining, is this property, as you can see, is on a hill. The entire property is a hill. So you drag it down there. Yeah, I can pull my truck up and load it. Screw that. It's good for me. So I'm dragging it down there. I don't want to burn any more spots in the grass. So I'm just dragging them down there. They don't weigh much. It's just coming back up that hill. But for anybody that thinks they're going to buy some acreage with trees or, or, or no trees and there isn't going to be anything to do, uh, you're mistaken. Because let me tell you, there is always something that needs done. Always. But that's something you need to think about before you, you know, if you're living in the city, you've never lived like this. And you go, oh, I'm going to move to the country. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, you're going to be working. Or your place is going to look like crap. And I don't like my place to look like crap. And I'm going to work until this is done. And the only one that you can really depend on 100% is yourself. And I know I can get this job done. It hurts, yeah. There's pain, yeah. But the more I do it, the easier it gets. I had my winter baby fat. <laughs> it's coming off, so this is getting a little easier. I still got aches and pains, trust me, a lot of them. But, you know, I know I can be out here every morning knocking this out, and it'll get done. Doesn't matter how much of it I get done today. As long as I get something done. That's how you got to work, you know. And there's just a lot going on in the spring. And it doesn't really start slowing down until probably August. Uh, when the grass quits growing, slugs, or grows real slow. Uh, some years it just keeps growing. 
we have a lot of rain so all right guys i'm gonna get back on this uh, i don't want to drag on yapping too long all right <laughs> Let's get you back up here. Right. I'm gonna drop this tree. Looks like that one up front is probably the main thing. I left this limb hanging on your safety net. That way it can't come back to me. So let's see what we get here. This probably won't drop now. I've done successfully. or uh, yeah, geometry, whatever. You just look and see what's got the most weight. I got her successfully laying flat on the ground now. No fear of it falling. And most of them ones are cut. Let's get to drag them out of here. Along with the rest of the mess, the top part. Oh man. Alright, we're getting there though. I plan to have this all cleaned up by the end of the day. Alright guys, we're making some progress. I found this guy in town had a cardboard sign say we'll work for food so he lives in a van down by the river I think it's actually a creek there he is right there what's up guys yeah we'll work for food well he ain't got no food we are making a dent look at this well, he's doing most of the work I'm about tuckered out from that which ain't done so we're just getting them all piled up and we're throwing them on the fire. I know some of y'all are going to go, I can use that for firewood. Uh -huh. Well, because we don't want it for firewood. And uh, it just needs to get done. That's the focus. So these guys can pull in here. we got to make a path. 
They can pull in here with their trucks, cut these where they need them, and load them up. Yeah. There goes Drew with the newfangled battery chainsaw. What do you think of that chainsaw? Pretty impressed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You wouldn't want to cut down a tree with it. I mean, you could, but you wouldn't want to. But you could definitely limb up stuff around the house yep. or whatever. You cut small trees with it. Yeah, small homeowner saw. We've got... We're getting there. It's going to be done today. I wouldn't say done, but it'll be where I can manage it. All right, guys. This will be the last clip. Everybody have a good one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button. If you don't like me, hit the unlike button. I don't care. Happy trails.